Kelly, teaching artist for dance and creative movement, better known as Miss Jenny. And today's class is another virtual online class that you can do from the comfort of your own home. Today we're going to be learning all about African dance. What is African dance? African dance, I believe, to be the base of all movement. In Africa, it's also very important to dance with your heart. And you will often notice, if you've ever seen African dance, that it's very hard for it not to put a smile on your face. African also uses a lot of what we call steady beat, which is a sound that's constant and stays the same, as well as rhythmic patterns, which represent the rhythm in our hearts. We're going to see how to apply steady beat movement technique, meaning moving steadily to the music, as well as moving with rhythmic patterns. Today, my goal is to warm you up with a call and response African chant that I learned from Wolf Trap Education. Lovely, lovely warm up. It's called Ago Ame. And then I will show you four African basic steps that you can do at home, and then we will put them all together and dance to it. Are we ready to begin? All you need is to have space to move in. Try not to bump into anyone. I would like to start with a rhythmic pattern versus steady beat chant. And all you have to do is echo what I say and repeat after me. It goes like this. Hands up. And we begin a steady beat by simply going and, 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 good job. And follow me, keep it steady. And repeat after me. We go. The beat stays the same. 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 Got the rhythm. Your turn. Got the rhythm. My turn. Changes. Changes. With. The. Words. Got the rhythm. Changes. With. The. Words. All together. We go. Beat stays the same. The beat stays the same. The beat stays the same. Sing it with me. The beat stays the same. The beat stays the same. Let's go. The beat stays the same. The beat stays the same. The beat stays the same. But the rhythm changes with the words. One more time. But the rhythm changes with the words. Put it in your body. The beat stays the same. 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 But the rhythm changes with the words. Your turn. But the rhythm changes with the words. One more time. But the rhythm changes with the words. Last time. Your turn. The rhythm good. changes with the words. That was a nice reminder of the difference between steady beat and rhythm. And today we will be using both for our Ago Ame warm up. Let's begin. Ago in Africa means I am calling for your attention. And when you respond by saying Ame, A M E, Ame, you are saying you have my attention. And that means eyes, ears, and heart. We're going to put that into practice by starting with a call and response through Ago Ame. When I say Ago, you say Ame. Let's give it a try. Ago, your turn. Ame, wonderful. What if I said Ago, go, go? What would you do? Ame, me, me. So again, it's applying the same technique of responding using your body to do as I do. So we're going to be using our eyes today. You're going to be also using call and response with me. Whatever I do and I say, you respond to and repeat. Are we ready? 
open stance, open up those feet, slightly facing outwards, bend those knees a little bit, and drop your hands. When I say I go, you say I may with the movements of my arms. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, I go. Wonderful. And, 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 side to side we go. One, two, 
With that arm, look back as well, come back center. We again move your other arm in a rainbow circular format to the back, look and come back center. Let's try it out with counts, go like this, one and two, come back in, one and two, and one and two, like looking at the past, one and two, and one and two, and one and two, wonderful, five, six, five, six, seven, we go one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, good, one, two, one, two, one, two, wonderful, that was our second basic African step. For our third step, we're going to pump some air and we're going to use our pelvis going back in front as we pump double time. So instead of one and two, we would pump one and two and three and four. Are we ready? We're going to do that for eight. Bend those knees, open up a little bit. Five, six, seven. We go one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. And one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight. Let's do our last basic African step. The last step we're going to do is to throw water in your face while we're moving diagonally. And diagonally means rather not front, not back, not side, but diagonally. Which means when you turn into any room, diagonally is usually where you find the corners of any room. So thinking of having one corner on the front, two corners in the front and two corners in the back. We're going to bring our right leg across diagonally and return to center. Then we're gonna bring our other leg diagonally and return to center. Diagonal, center, yes? We go diagonal, center, diagonal, center, diagonal, center, diagonal, center, diagonal, center, good. And center, diagonal, Center, diagonal, center. Now, with the arms, you're going to imagine like you're splashing water in your face while you do that. Leaning back a little bit with your torso. It's going to look like this. Water splash, water splash, good. Water splash, water splash, good. Water splashes, you return to center, good. Splash, center, splash, center, splash, center, Splash and center. Wonderful. That was our step four. Let's put all of those steps together. One, two, three, and four. Join me. We begin with our side step. Five, six, five, six, seven. We will flick in. Flick in. Flick in. Flick. Four more. Flick in. Flick in. Flick in.
side and the other. Good. Inhale, bend those knees. Cast that sun. Exhale, bring it to your heart. Wonderful work, everyone. Thank you so much for moving with me today. Here is your weekly challenge from Miss Jenny. I am wondering if you at home can come up with some new African movements. I just showed you four. There's so many, many, many different types of African dances in the world. And it's super fun to watch and also super fun to engage in. So go ahead and practice the dance you saw today. Teach it to someone else. Record yourself doing the sequence dance. Play some music. Play a different type of music. See if you can do African to that as well. You will find that African dance and African music and African rhythm, you can see in many different types of different songs and styles and genres around the world. So as I said at the beginning of the video, remember African dance and music is a rhythm and basis for almost all music in the world. So come up with new ways to move your body about. The point here is to know that creative movement helps you in developing your mind and your body and it also connects you to the world and the cultures all around. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope I get to see you all soon again. And please remember to like, share, and comment on this video. Until next time.